Welcome back to the Empire of Ireland. Today, I think we're finally going to declare some war. And who better than the, the King of Sweden over here? He's been our rival for the last few episodes. Let's go ahead and unpause so we can get some things underway. Uh, I think we do actually have... What are we doing? Uh, we're fabricating a hook on the, the Queen of Germany, this is. And we're also trying to murder... Ah, yes. Who are you? You are... I actually forget who you are. We're trying to murder someone. That might be due to an alliance. Uh, so we'll have to see when uh, how that plays out. And we're getting very close to Paragon of Virtue, which means once we have that, we will go ahead and declare the war. We have some gold in the bank, so I, I think we're as prepared as we can be. It has been brought to my attention that Wittred, a renowned Christian playwright, intends to hold a performance of his work titled The Passion of God. The price of admission is steep, but but, uh, but this is likely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness a Whitfred play with my own eyes. Um, do you know what? A pious night at the theatre it is. Why not? Maybe this can uh, uh, enlighten me. Betrothed can marry. Let's go ahead and marry these guys off. That should uh, uh, be beautiful there. In fact, is this murder to do with the Byzantine Empire, I wonder? Let's go ahead and check on that in a minute. Uh, as I watch the play unfold before me, it quickly becomes clear why Rithfred is so well known as a literary genius. The prose, the performance, all of it makes me feel as though I am witnessing the events of the scriptures unfold in front of me, as if I were there to behold God's work myself. Once the play has drawn to a close, I find myself alone with Rithfred. Um... Yeah. You must teach me to interpret the scriptures as you do. Why not? Uh, please teach me. Uh, it would help me hide my devotion to the haunt god that much better. Uh, and there we go. We've got a marriage exception uh, there as well. That's all looking fine. Artifacts have low durability. Now, one of you mentioned we could probably gift away our artifacts, which is entirely possible. Um, <laughs> I just simply forget that uh, we can do these things. Let's go ahead and repair the dagger. We do need that as we're currently using that one. Uh, we're also going to repair the armor as well. Why can't I click on that? Okay, that's a little bit uh, a little bit annoying there. Let's go ahead and repair the armor. There we go. That's all looking fine. Do we have any trinkets available? We do. What can we pull on here? So this gives prestige, court and guest opinion. That's diplomacy, lifestyle experience, prestige and romance. Same faith opinion and clergy opinion. Uh, it's nice, but let's go with the prestige and stuff. Why not? And then what I'm also going to do is repair this one. There we go. That's looking fine. What's the best way? Ah, what have I done there? This is the one I wanted, right? Ah, what have I done here? Ah, it's all looking messy. That's the one I don't want. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hopefully one day they uh, issue an update for this... Uh, uh, artifact screen. I was looking through the dev blog post, so it does look like that is coming. Okay, so uh, our crowns are okay. Our regalia is also okay. Our armor, we could probably get rid of some of these. The history, we could gift this to someone maybe. Uh, who do we want to impress? The Byzantine Empire stands out. Now, if we go ahead and look at the line of succession, his this guy is still Irish Orthodox. We still have a hook on him as well. Ideally, we want to hook on this guy. Uh, but let's not worry about this right now. I want to unpause and uh, progress to the war of Sweden. We do have some artifacts. If we find someone we want to increase opinion with, then we have artifacts there. I don't want to waste too much time going through that now, though. Uh, it just seems a little bit tedious. We could gonna go on a good old hunt here before we go on the war. Get ourselves ready and sharp. My daughter, Ethelberg, has given birth to a daughter. Since the little one is a part of my dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. I agree. Sad B? No, that's not a good name. Elfswift. There we go. Uh, may you grow strong and wise, my granddaughter. We've also finished converting faith in Cambridgeshire. So we go ahead and look at the... Uh, there we go. Irish Orthodox is a very popular... Uh, in Britannia or the Empire of Ireland, which is nice to see. We've also got some Irish Orthodox popping up over there. Uh, is this Irish Orthodox too? Yes, it is indeed. So we've actually got some Irish Orthodox popping up uh, here, there and everywhere. Um, our main focus is, of course, over in the Empire of Ireland, though. So that's good to see. And I think now all of our holdings, at least, are of the correct faith, which they are. Okay, should we go ahead and convert culture? Uh... 
Uh, maybe let's not do it now. Fabricating hook failed. Okay. If there's one thing that Alexandria in particular cannot resist, it's his favorite treat. His next sweet snack would be one part marzipan and one part potent poison. Forgotten by my agent in front of the child. Bon appetit! Let's try it and uh, see if we manage to kill this child. Alexandra is dead. He swallowed the bait, poached pear and all in no time at all. He was clutching at his throat, wheezing for air before collapsing into a small heap on the ground, never to get up again. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of foul play could be found. Now, we do gain some stress because he's a child, but I had to do this. I had to do this. Indeed, I did. Did I, though? <laughs> Did I actually have to do this? I think this was to break some kind of alliance. I don't remember. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, we, we'll just tell ourselves we had to do it. Uh, how can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible, yet here I am. My heart beating on whilst Jules has gone quiet. Oh, Condor, my beauty. Life will not be the same without you. Is that my third wife? Uh, at least the memories remain. We gain slightly less stress, though, because we're callous, so... On to my fourth wife, I guess. Terrible stuff. Can we get a good alliance in here? Doesn't look like it. Um, now, I don't care about fertility. So if we go for something like this and then go alliance power. Uh, I could marry my cousin. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. What about you? You have land. You have men. You are a member of my dynasty, which is a little bit of a shame, but we're not going to have any children, so I don't think there's any uh, bad side of that. We go both gain prestige. Uh, we, You are part of my empire as well, I believe, so it makes things a bit more stable. Uh, let's send the proposal. That should strengthen the realm, especially just before a time of war. I'm happy for that. And then we go. We gained a level of devotion. We are now a paragon of virtue, which means... If we choose to, we can go to war. We're in May, so May is a good time to go to war, uh, as good as any. Sweden doesn't have any alliances. If we look at the faith screen, there are some insular neighbours around here, but none of them are actually that sizable. What about Denmark? No, Denmark is as true. We have to wipe them out as well, remember? These guys have uh, raided us for many generations, and it's time we get our revenge. So... We're going to declare the war against King Astrid Olfsson here. He's nine years old. That should be fine. Let's go ahead and declare the war. We're going to do a holy war for kingdom. We can only do this once. The kingdom of Norway. Wait, what? No, 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 no. The kingdom of Sweden. Wait, have things... Has something happened here? Let's unpause and let time progress. Uh, to the impressive Aiden, I, Mildred, gladly accept your hand in marriage. May St. Bridget bless our union, my sensible husband. Excellent. You're insular. So the, I should be able to do a holy war for kingdom. Sweden. What? What's happened here? Why can't I do the kingdom of Norway? Within the target title, all titles held by insular rulers are seized and any Irish Orthodox rulers are vassalized by you. You you don't have the Kingdom of Norway though, you only have the Kingdom of Sweden. Why can't I declare this war? Norway's not even a thing as of right now. And we seem to be getting ill as well. Uh, I knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower, but I didn't think it would all come to a halt until my death. Lately, I feel a constant malice and everything takes more effort than before. I'm worried that if I lie down, I might not be able to get up again. There is no doubt that my time is running out. I feel like I can do naught but to await death's sweet embrace to claim me. So we're infirm. Weaker body, Aiden is not fit for much except waiting for death to claim him. So we're going to go to war. We need to go to war now. Uh, how long will I have to wait? So we're in firm. We're not on death's door, which is good. Our health is poor and we are ailing, though. <laughs> We've been obese our entire life, too. That's an interesting one. Now, one thing we could also do, I guess, is take the... Oh, my. What a guy. 
Okay, one thing we could do... No, we can't declare war on you because we don't have a Cassus Belly. Can I not just do a Holy War vote because your ass are true? Who can we declare war on? I don't want to waste this. Uh, Hungary, Brittany, the Kingdom of Sweden. Yeah, but it's not Sweden, it's Norway, isn't it? Bulgaria, Moldavia. The Byzantine Empire. We know how that one's going to go. We don't have the numbers for that. This is uh, an interesting... Yeah, Kingdom of Norway. I do wonder, does that, does that create the Kingdom of Norway, though? No, only territory within his realm that is part of the Kingdom of Norway. Okay. This is a problem. Just a little bit. I mean, I could declare war on you. No, because we don't have a Cassus Belly. Is that what I need? Do I need a Cassus Belly here? Is that what's up here? What if I fabricate a claim? Does that change things? Probably not. I, I don't imagine it would change anything, would it? Hmm. Unless we go down into Catholic lands, but the Catholics heavily outnumber us as well, which is a problem. Uh, we have a new patriarch here who doesn't support us. <laughs> and another one of my wives have died. Okay, <laughs> we only gained free stress from that. Let's go ahead and sway my new patriarch because we want to be getting some of those uh, juicy taxes that he can offer us. And then what I think I might do... Is we need an alliance. What What are you? The Duchy of Verona. Okay, I'm willing to... You're my cousin, though. What about you? You're Greek. The Duchy of Munster. Oh, okay, that would uh, solidify the realm. Why not? We're not going to have any children anyway, right? Because you're 48. So, uh, let's just marry off there. That should be more than fine. What day is it? How long have I been resting this time? I find myself searching the faces of my frequent visitors for any indication. Wrinkle of scars. Anything to serve as proof that time still passes. Somehow the interactions I have with others feel like they're talking at me, not to me. Am I still me or a soul removed from my body? Am I living or just merely existing? Uh, my existence is torture. We gain the trait melancholic now. Hayden has a hard time seeing the good in life. Oh dear. We're on our last legs, aren't we? <laughs> uh, and there we go. We do have a new wife once again. Right, we're going to put her on managed domain. Are we still okay, though? We're, we're still poor and ailing. It's fine. We're not on death's doorstep just yet. I wonder, are, are these guys out of my, my diplomatic war range or something? No, I don't think so. Because I can still declare this war here. So why can't I do it, say, for Denmark? Don't have a Cassus Belly. Is it to do with government types, I wonder? Surely not. Yeah, these, they're both feudal. I mean, I guess we could go down to something like Brittany. Ah, but will we do a holy war here? Like, is, do I have a holy war for kingdom here? I do. Okay, so if we do that, the, the Catholics are going to reinforce, of course, which is a, a little bit worrying. What about these guys? These guys have uh, huge numbers. Could do a holy war. The kingdom of Sweden. Why do you have the kingdom of Sweden? When this is literally Sweden. Uh, this is puzzling. Very puzzling, isn't it? I mean, I mean, I guess we could just do declare war for Norway. Unless we push uh, your claims for the Kingdom of Sweden, but you're old. I mean, you're 85. You're not dead yet. Maybe if we could get a quick war in here, we could win the Kingdom of Sweden. And that's how we do it. I think that's our, our only shot here, isn't it? Is to win the Kingdom of Sweden this way. We definitely want to take Scandinavia for all of the... Take back all of the generations of raiding and take our revenge is what I'm trying to say. So I think this is the way we're going to have to do it. Let's go ahead and declare the war. Let's not waste any more time. We're already in July here. Uh, we can call allies to war. 
Let's go ahead and do that. We have plenty of prestige. Uh, that's if anyone accept, accepts. Uh, Verona will accept. They have 5,000 men they're willing to spare for that. Uh, no one else is willing to vote. Right, let's go ahead and raise the men. There we go. That took a, a little bit longer than I was hoping for here. We're going to have to set another banner. That's fine. Uh, the, the Bank of Ireland is not going to be very happy with me for this war. But we've built up a nice little, uh, a nice little stash of gold there preparing for this war greetings cousin of course i should join you in this war our foes shall learn to fear the men of verona excellent thank you very much i assure you this is going to be a, a mighty war the pagans are finally going to pay for all of the the, the distress that have caused our people my spy master has come to me with a discovery he is certain that my vassal reeve sifled is scheming against my daughter caitlin throw her in jail is my spy master sure Hmm. Throw her in jail. Yes, she, she she can't murder my daughter and get away with it. I, uh, it's only 30 gold. Let's deal with her after the war, let's see. Right now, we got a war to worry about, so that's uh, that's fine. Uh, we need to find which one of these armies has our siege equipment as well. Uh, a new witch has been inducted. That's beautiful. Right, our armies are raised, our men are raised. The Swedish armies, I don't see them yet. We're going to go straight for the capital, though. Uh, we're going to hit them hard. We're going to hit them fast. To the worthless Emperor Aiden, it has become clear that your patriarch is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the country of Upland. Uh, do not think that this kind of dishonorable action would go without response. Ah, I mean, I've declared war against you. But thanks for reminding me about this. I completely forgot. <laughs> Let's go and put my patriarch back on religious relations. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, wife as well. I don't think managed domain is going to do much right now. So if I put you on chivalry, that should improve our our, our war efforts here. So let's do that. This is going to be very expensive to embark. We knew this war was going to be expensive though. We can demand payments. Let's see. Five gold isn't really worth it. Yeah, five gold again. 38 gold. I'll, I'll take the 38 gold though. Thank you very much. There we go. This menu's a bit jumpy. Uh, the King of Wales... Uh, the Prince of Wales, sorry, isn't got enough. Ten gold, thank you very much. One gold, oh dear. Uh, Cornwall, 50 gold, there we go. Uh, these gold payments should help us with the war efforts. I think it's fair to demand some gold. Uh, if they believe in the Empire, then there should be no problem at all for them to share such an expense. Now, I still don't see the Swedish armies. Ah, I see the Swedish armies. Are they in another war? Ah, no. They they are sieging Ireland. Of course, we have Ireland up here. We can change contract. Okay. Thank you very much. More gold, please. Gold is very important. Do I ransom you just for the... Ah, why not? I, I'll take the extra ransom gold. We need it for the war. Uh, as I keep saying. There we go. That's uh, looking fine there. Ransom accepted on that one. We can demand more payments. Eh, not really. It's not worth it, is it? Okay, which one of these armies has my siege equipment? The first army of Blifring. So let's go ahead and put you guys there. And then what I want is these two armies. If you guys come down here and siege this, that's fine. We should probably go ahead and fight this, actually. Yeah, I've, I've changed my mind, guys. You guys are going to go north. We're in winter now already, aren't we? Uh, just stay down here, actually. It's fine. It's fine. We should be able to out-siege them. Once they've taken this tiny bit of land, uh, they're going to have to come south and defend them. Or we'll sail all the way across to Ireland, by which time we should already have sieged down a few castles of there. So it should be absolutely fine. Are our allies coming to assist? They are. Ah, there we go, as you can see. Where's, where's the rest of their army? This should be a much better war than our previous war with Sweden. My daughter, Elf Swift, has given birth to a son. Since the little one is a part of my dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. Let's go ahead and call you... Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, Aranak. There we go. May you grow strong and wise, my grandson. Welcome to the Empire of Ireland. Queen Gisela has discovered that I am attempting to gain leverage over her in dishonest ways. I must do what I can to salvage my reputation. Oh no. Okay, we currently have no hostile schemes underway. 
Do we throw... You don't have any... Okay. I'm going to try... We can't murder you. We could try and abduct you, but it's just not going to work, is it? Where's the Pope? Here's the Pope. Uh, are you ready to give me more gold? Not quite yet. We could kidnap the Pope. Yeah, that's not going to work either, is it? We we want money, basically. The Byzantine Empire have money. You know what? I'm going to try and get some money from the Byzantine Empire. What about the, the Kingdom of Hungary? They have a little bit of money as well. Of course, we have a, a history of the Kingdom of Hungary. We're not very good friends. They uh, even tried to murder one of my ancestors with a, a gift of a rug. I do remember that one. But we're losing the war. That's not good. <laughs> We've won the war. <laughs> what? Oh, you couldn't make it up if you tried to. Um, we've captured the, the King of Sweden. We 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 saved for many years and little did we know the war would take a, a matter of 10 months. Um, let's go ahead and enforce our demands. And to the evil Aiden, your ruthlessness is enviable. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. I don't think you've got much of a choice, uh, child. Let's go ahead and disband the men. That was a, a very fast war, and look at that. The Scandinavians are going to learn to bow to us. We still have our holy war for kingdom as well. Let's not forget that. Right. We can change Queen Saga's contract. So you are a queen. Let's go ahead and increase your taxes. Thank you very much. Uh, we can ransom as well. 10 gold for the old king of Sweden. Oh, I hate to do this. Not really, though. We could demand conversion. He might accept. Okay, so... Instead of that... Oh, I can't torture you because you're a kid. Really? Ah, uh, give me your gold and run away, then. It's fine. Titles can be created. They're all duchies. Uh, let's ignore that for now. Realm will lose land when... The yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll have to consider that when that happens. The good news is it's not going to take long for our army to be back at full strength. So let's just unpause and let things progress a little bit. And now we have diplomatic reaches all the way over here. Hybrid culture has been formed. I need to check something. Oh, jeez. Pop-ups. Okay, let's pause the game. Uh, my agents have made contact with Peter, a servant in my acquaintance, King Teep's castle. With the right incentive, he is willing to start some whispers about King Teep's not being nearly as noble as he seems. 65 gold. Uh, uh, a sympathetic ear close to him is enough. We, we want profit. Uh, I'm not going to pay gold. Uh, it's fine. And we have another... My son and spymaster has had a child, or his wife has had a child. Let's go ahead and name him Kerbri. There we go. May you grow strong and wise, my grandchild. Right. Now, I was about to... Ah, yes, we want to check on you. You're Irish Orthodox, which is good. Okay, so you're going to convert the faith of the Scandinavians and bring them towards the modern times. Now, is, does this mean I can now declare war on you and do a holy war for kingdom? It does. So we might have just been out of range here. That's what the problem was. Although, actually, but we could do it here. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing here at the moment. Oh, look, Finland is a thing. Very tiny, though. Is that a kingdom as well? No, it's just a duchy. Okay. Do we wipe out Denmark now? They are the last Asa true, from what I can see, on the entire map. If we could wipe out the Asad True, that would definitely make a statement. What kind of allies do they have? Not many. They're in a war. That's for the petty kingdom of Shaland. Okay. Pronunciation is on point. And this is for the Dutch. Okay, so no war for the kingdom, which is good. I think we do it. What we're going to do is just wait a little bit, though. Um, our men at arms are fine. We're in June. It's going to be winter. Although we could summon our men over here. I think it's time for another war already. This time we take the Kingdom of Denmark. I did say there was going to be war today. I didn't know there would be two wars. But that's the way it's going. So let's do a holy war for kingdom. Is there a bigger kingdom? Sap me maybe? The, the thing is though... This is a, a huge war, and I don't think we'll be ready to undertake this, right? 
what religion are they as well? Catholic. Okay, yeah. Uh, going toward the Catholics. We're probably not ready to do just yet. We need to expand our reach first. Let's go to war with the King of Denmark. He has no allies, which is good. He has no men either. <laughs> this is going to be a very fast war. Uh, I don't even think we need to raise uh, the levies. Just the men at arms should be fine enough. Hey, let's go ahead and declare the war for the Kingdom of Denmark then. Now, we could raise... Uh, we could call on allies, but I don't think that's necessary either. Who's in my court? At first, I thought they were merely idiosyncrasies, but it is clear one of the many servants at court has been futif uh, furtively signaling me. I approach him with my guards at a quiet moment, and he whispers cons... These words are killing me today. A great emperor! Emperor, my name is Ulfsito. We overhear much while waiting on your guests. They hardly even notice our presence. I look at him doubtfully, wondering whether I can re uh, whether I really want to hear what he says next. He returns the look, clearly unsure whether he is making a mistake. At last, he swallows. My lord, Countess Berth, your fretful vessel, has a terrible secret behind closed doors of the castle. I swear it with God as my witness. Hmm, because I'm a schemer, I would lose stress here. Okay. Take this, you report to me only. Ooh. Yes, uh, we have an inside spy here in the, the, the court of Ireland. He's going to help me. At least I hope so. We can... Nothing to worry about here, is there? There isn't. Okay, All right, let's get back to the, the plan of war. I get distracted very easily. We're going to have to place another banner over here as well. Uh, if I raise my men at arms, it's only going to take 47 days. That should be fine. Well, we have a very competent commander here. 24 commander advantage. We should probably train some commanders uh, in the near future, shouldn't we? That's food for thought there. After the war, uh, remind me. <laughs> My spy master has come to me with grave news, but we do not yet, knew, yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill me? Oh, no. There's a lot of people that possibly want to kill me. Let's go ahead and put you on disrupt schemes. Uh, I have made a lot of enemies, uh, and this should be a, a very quick war with uh, the Kingdom of Denmark here. Patriarch Swerford often quotes passages from the scriptures about the holy virtues. I should prove I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own, preferably one which complements his personality. I will memorize and recite a section on... Oh, let's go ahead and look at him. What kind of man are you, Patriarch Swerford? You are a content absolver. Okay... So, you are chaste, dislikes intimate contact, avoiding the temptations of the flesh. That's very virtuous of you. You're also temperate. Uh, it's best to enjoy things in moderation, and you're also forgiving. Quickly to, uh, to move on from most things. Well, you have all of these. I think I'm gonna... Forgiveness is a big thing of Irish Orthodox faith, so I I'm going to compliment you on your forgiveness. Uh, he's flattered. There we go. Uh, we know how to work our way around the social interactions, it seems. Right. Can we work our way around a siege, though? Uh, it's going to take three months. That's very quick. This uh, Onagas here. I have no idea how to say that. That's a very dangerous word as well. Uh, these are doing pulling in the work. I wonder if we should get a second... A second group of those so we can have two armies sieging would be somewhat useful wouldn't it uh, let's go ahead and unpause my daughter hold on okay my daughter's gonna leave court that's fine she's a grown woman uh, i've seized the bavarian war banner okay what can we do with that we can also ransom here 70 i want the 50 gold you're a prisoner of war Let's go ahead and siege some more land here. Uh, this is actually going off to a very good start. Orthodox Holy Order has been founded by the Emperor of the, the Byzantine Empire. Oh dear. Uh, if it's one thing that they didn't need more of, it's definitely manpower. I feel like they could become one of our biggest enemies or biggest threats in future. The existence of my plot to fabricate a hook on King Tepes has been discovered. Um, uh, curses. We'll, we'll carry on with it, though. There's still a chance we could get that one sorted, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, we have someone else in our court as well. My daughter, Ethelberg, has given birth to a daughter, Ethelberg. <laughs> May you grow strong and wise. I don't know why I find that funny. Uh, what's happening here? Court artifact. Oh, we're not putting the banner on my, on my, no. 
Okay, let's take a look at our vassals. The the Queen of England hates us. So, we're going... I can revoke your title. Why is that? I can take the Kingdom of England uh, because we're a feuding family. Well, what if I solve our feud and just give you some useless artifact? Right now, I already have enemies trying to kill me, so... Oh, where is it? Right, let's look here. Gift artifact, it's right there. The Stone of Scone. Wait, is that my throne? Oh. Um. Okay, I didn't even know I had this. That's impressive. Am I using that? The Bavarian War Banner. I don't want this. Uh, I'm going to give you this artifact. Yes. Oh, you, you dislike me slightly less. I just need to double check my royal court a moment. Where do I see the throne? Is it here? So I'm using this one. So when we formed, when we took Albert, I think we inherited this one. A simple set of sandstone on which all monarchs of Alba have been crowned since King Kenneth the First. That's a lot more prestige. Also, court grandeur is higher, but we also get renowned building construction cost discount, spearman maintenance, uh, Gaelic and Scots opinion plus five. Let's go ahead and use this one. Oh, look at that. Uh, we're swapping thrones momentarily. Uh, momentarily. Okay. All the court artifacts. If I sort by... Yeah. So we've also got the branch of the trip. We can't use this because we're not of the right faith. Uh, magnificent tapestry. Oh, we're already using this. Oh, I like this throne, though. It's Irish. But we must improve. I should give this to someone as well. Uh, you can take this as well, Queen of England. Where are you? Uh, I've got another artifact for you. Where is it? Uh, this one. There we go. Do you like me yet? Oh, you hate me? Why do you hate me? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, she suddenly started hating me. Let's go back to the war. Uh, I know how to do war. We've got four months left on the siege. <clears throat> Gifting artifacts. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the update where we can sell them. That's going to be beneficial. Although we have plenty of gold already. Can we actually upgrade anything yet? Not right now because of technology, right? Yeah, well, we're kind of limited by our technology. Which uh, is, a, is a bit of a shame. We are currently researching manoralism, though, which will unlock all of our economic buildings. That's done in about 17 months. So when that occurs, we can definitely go ahead and invest in some infrastructure, as uh, you guys pointed out on the last episode. Sadly, though, we just haven't had many characters of learning to boost our technology. Uh, we've won another siege, though, which is always useful. You guys are raiding. I will let you raid, but then I need to come in and siege, if that's okay with you. Actually, we should be able to do it at the same time, right? We're not going to be forced into a fight, I hope. I hope. Yeah, we can siege and raid at the same time. Ah! Oh, too much for my heart. <laughs> Emperor Aiden of Ireland has left this world at 58 years of age. He died of heart failure. Oh, literally. God, my timing is on point today. Uh, a hollowed show of his former self, he had long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. Emperor Wolfmere ascends to the throne. A wise and learned man. Progress, uh, progress and innovation is expected under his rule. Oh, that could be useful. So Emperor Aiden here, he played, oh, I ruled for 47 years. That's quite impressive. My son is already 37 being uh, born as an emperor. Let's go ahead and continue as my son. Uh, luckily, the game has paused. My patriarch already likes me. That's useful. We need to sort our council out. We need to sort a lot of things out. First vote, I think the most important thing is we need to dress like uh, the emperor of Ireland. Sadly, we don't have any green clothes here. What says emperor? Uh, I'm feeling... I'm feeling this. Uh, let's go with this. And then, of course, where well, we need to have the, the royal cloak 
always. And then the Iris Crown, the Jeweled Lily Crown. Let's go ahead and apply these changes here. And that one's sorted. Now we need to go ahead and pick a lifestyle. We are a man of learning, so I will go ahead with that. And it looks like we've gone down the Theologian tree. Uh, tree. So that gives learning and piety. What I might do is go for development. Try and get that university in Cambridge. So we can improve the, the learning of all of uh, the Empire of Ireland. So let's go for scholarship. We're going to finish the theologian tree right now. So as of right now we have clergy opinion. Convert faith in county as higher. Okay, that's also the same. Monthly piety per night. Faith creation and reformation cost. We could do some faith reformation if we so wished. Hmm. Level of devotion. Okay. So there's a lot of things we could do here. Now, uh, do I have my wife here. That's good. Let's go ahead and sort out our pinned characters. My son and heir here. I will go ahead and pin him. As well as his twin. Let's go ahead and keep him pinned. Actually, let's pin all my children. We've got to make sure they've got the, the good education. Intrigue. You're both learning intrigue. Okay. You don't have a focus yet. Okay, so if you're going to be a child of intrigue, are you... Are you in my court? Why can't I educate you? No idea. We might have to unpause for just a moment in a second. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and set up my court. We need a spy master. My vassal and knight, 31 intrigue. He's going to be very good. Let's keep you on disrupt schemes for now. We also need a good steward to manage the realm. Uh, my vassal... You're also my vassal and you're a queen. You're the queen of Sweden. So I'm actually going to put you there. I want you on my good side. And then we need a good old chancellor here. Uh, the queen of England should do good. She is my vassal and friend. Which I think is important. People aren't liking me very much. Let's go ahead and put my wife on patronage. And I think we're going to start with swaying the spy master. Uh, I don't want to have him on my bad side. What's happening up here? Artifacts low. Can grant that? Okay, let's go ahead and grant over. Ah, uh, we're greedy. Uh, because we're greedy, we shouldn't do this, should we? No. Okay. Titles can be created. It's just duchies. We can declare plenty of wars. We're already in a war right now, so let's ignore that. I think the realm is somewhat sorted. We do have some court events, though. Ah, that's just court artifacts. Okay. Is that going to disappear, or do I have to click? I have to click. Ah, there's a button down there this whole time. So let's go ahead and just do this. I hate when there's numbers popping up everywhere. And one thing that does suck is we only inherited one area, and that's Dublin itself. So our income has absolutely plummeted, which is a bit of a shame there. We no longer have Cambridge under our control. Okay, so in that case, I wonder, is it better? Well, actually, for now, let's go ahead and collect taxes, because our income's a bit of an issue. And I think uh, organized army... I don't think this matters right now. What I should probably do is train commanders. Yeah, let's go ahead and train commanders because that also improves our men at arms, which I wasn't aware of previously. And let's go back to this war over here. I think we're kind of set up. We could go ahead and host an exotic feast as well. Just to make all of my vassals like me and, and we can celebrate, uh, or at least uh, celebrate me, the succession of me claiming the crown, but also my father's passing. So I will go ahead and host an exotic feast. We won't lose stress because we're shy, but it's important that we unify the realm and take note of the succession. With the passing of my father, Emperor Aiden, the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals. Adjust my new crown and toss a coin. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. Long live the Emperor. There we go. Faction created against us. What a start. Can I now educate my children? I can. So it was just a simple of uh, unpausing there. I want someone with good interest. Ah, my sister and friend. Can you educate my son? 
And then as for my second son, he is also focusing on intrigue. So what I'm going to have you do, sister, is actually educate both of my sons for me. And then hopefully my third son here, maybe he's a bit more in line with my, with my knowledge. The guests are gathered in a great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and the spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Yes, this should be a good feast, I hope. Oh, dear. There's a lot of factions rising up here, which is not ideal. Do we have any alliances? We don't. That could be important. We do have this stuff equipped, at least. Okay, this could be problematic times on the horizon. Hopefully the feast manages to fix some of this. Uh, it is too much. The incessant chatter of those around me. The multitude of faces looking for me uh, to me for conversation. People. Uh, I knew that this feast would be a chore, but I never imagined the scale of it. I'm lucky that my sister and friend Caitlin here uh, is here at least. There must be somewhere I can be alone. Let's go ahead and pick this one because we are shy. It's very fitting with our character. We should actually go ahead and read our character traits before, uh, so we can get into it. So we are just. Emperor Wolfmere Aidenson of Ireland is just. So has a strong sense of justice. We're also shy. Prefers to avoid interacting with other people. And we're greedy. Uh, Wolfmere keeps a tight grip on his person. He's always looking for ways to engorge it. We're also a mastermind philosopher. Possesses an uncanny insight into all subjects of higher learning. An aspiring blade master, deft in personal combat, Wolfman knows which end to stick them with. We are one-legged, though, <laughs> so we can't be that good in combat, I guess, anymore. And we are a valued warlike courtier. Wolfman has spent at least five years living in a truly grand warlike court, involving himself with noble warriors and acclaimed tacticians. So I think uh, we are quite a fearsome character. 46 gold, I'll take that, thank you very much. We don't have many knights either, which is a bit of a worry. We did have some guests just show up. I wonder if any of those are competent knights. We could all tell Queen Eifne had too much to drink, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising from her seat proved too much for her, and now I am covered in stinking vomit. Oh, dear. Now we're shy, so we can't pick that one. Uh, what a show you put on. Although I'm still going to gain stress because uh, I'm covered in vomit. It's really not ideal, is it? Right, let's go ahead and unpause. That's why things aren't progressing, isn't it? <laughs> we also have uh, someone in my court here. Uh, my friend, a word, please. My chance like Queen Eifne approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. She gestures to a less populated spot in the room and I follow her there. I'm concerned about the state of Dublin Castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, we all noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines a floor below. Ah, my father failed to address this, didn't he? My steward can handle this matter. Yeah, let's just pass it on to the steward. Oh, it's going to cost us 340 gold to fix. Wow. Okay. Um, the good finances we once did have are, are slowly not looking so good. With everyone headed home with the bellies full of exotic delicacies, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Eifne to thank for much of its success and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests. Ah, oh, my wife has the same name as the, uh, the Queen of England. That might get a little bit confusing. Maybe we should be fine. Betrothed can marry. My sister and friend is going to marry off. Let's go ahead and send that. And there we go. We do actually have a new alliance now because of this. So, not a very big alliance, though, unfortunately. Uh, but at least better than not having an alliance, I guess. So it should be fine. Factions are disbanding as well, so people beginning to like us. Uh, my Marshal Offenak has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name, I swear that Gabriel is someone you could want on your side. 15 prowess. You're a brilliant strategist. You're gallant and a cautious leader. Very well, Gabrin shall serve me. Yes, we need more knights like you. We need an instrument. Uh, my vassal here. My sister and vassal. There we go. Uh, my sister. Join me on the, the Emperor's Council, please. Thank you very much. And there we go. Another siege has gone our way here. An experienced fighter. Now, the problem is our gold is looking a bit low. Do I want to recruit people right now? That is a question, isn't it? Are you sieging? Oh, no, you're raiding. Okay, that's fine. 
Let's go ahead and siege this down, I guess. I don't imagine it'll be too long before we win the war for the Kingdom of Denmark as well. Three months on this siege, that's looking absolutely fine. Uh, and it looks like people are taking advantage of uh, this situation as also uh, raiding him. Sucks to be the Kingdom of Denmark right now. 25 days left on it. Ah, uh, court grand jewels decreased. Oh, that's not nice. We, uh, we want an impressive court. There we go, that's another 25 gold for us there. Are you... No, don't siege this back. I need that for my war. Damn you. Meddling in my plans. Uh, call on our ally. I don't think we need help right now. It's fine. Uh, I do appreciate the offer though. Thank you very much. Yeah, these guys sieging down the land is not beneficial to us really. I don't want to fight them though. <laughs> I guess we just have to kind of work around them. I think we're sieging much faster than them, so it's unfortunate. Oh, we're going to have to have a little fight here, though. <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't uh, very damaging to us. What is damaging is all these factions. We're going to have to take a look at those in a moment. Let's wait for us to finish this war first, though. How long is it going to take you guys to see Jack? 14 months, that's fine. Uh, greetings, my thoughtful liege. I've arrived in Dublin to pay homage to you. Glorious emperors, a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Let's go ahead and show in Queen Snez. She is the Queen of Alba. Uh, don't tell her we have her throne. <laughs> the less she knows, the better. I wait patiently in my throne for the arrival of Queen Snez, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth her gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record her pledges to serve the Empire of Ireland. As Queen Snez stands, she stumbles awkwardly. The court grasps, uh, gasps in union as she falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flushed with embarrassment. Oh dear. Your oaths are all of that matter to me, and your gold. Thank you very much. Now, am I a witch? I'm not a witch. So we have to abandon that whole idea, okay? Uh, we are a virtuous man now, we're not a witch. So the Horned God stuff is gone. It's in the past. <laughs> it was a fun phase whilst it lasted. Yeah, it's fine. Siege of one mano has been lost. Okay. Not over here though, right? Yeah. Somewhere over here. Uh, something's happening. Not quite sure what, but it shouldn't affect our war here. Uh, the factions are disbanding and banding and disbanding over and over. Uh, we've stolen the, the Taper of St. David. Maybe we can gift that to a vassal. Let's take this back. It should be a relatively quick siege. Oh, we're going to end up fighting these men, I feel like. I don't want to fight you guys, though. We're fighting different wars. At no, why are you going to the same place that I want to go? Let's wait for them to move. Okay, now we can go over here. Jeez. It's, uh, it's very tedious when you're fighting a war against someone, but they're fighting a war as well. Fascination discovered! Your culture has discovered the fascination manualism. Uh, there we go. So we should be able to upgrade some stuff now. First of all, let's pick a new fascination. We are being exposed to the, to the arched saddle. Can recruit armored horsemen as men at arms. I don't think I care about that right now. I, I care about this stuff. So domain limit... Uh, this is Cassus Belly stuff. Can enact the partition law. Under partition succession, your titles will be divided equally between your children. How do I get... I'm not sure. We'll have to look later. Um, naval speed. Okay. County's maximum development. I mean, we could get this. This will be done in three years. It's a nice short one. What we can also do, if we go over to Dublin, we can't actually upgrade. Has a keep building. Oh, we need to upgrade this. We don't have the battlements innovation, though. We're just missing a bunch of innovations by the looks of it. Yeah, we really need the the keep so that we need gold and battlements do we not have battlements where is battlements this is battlements 
Okay, let's go ahead and research that. That's going to take 19 years, and that should allow us to progress things just a little bit. That's fine. Let's go ahead and keep an eye on this siege. It's going to take us about three months to complete this one. And my wife is pregnant. Very nice. And my son here should now have a focus. He is curious. So diplomacy and learning. Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and put you on learning. It's nice to see that at least one of my sons is taken after me. And I will go ahead and teach him myself because... Uh, look at that. We have 25 learning. We are a very learned man. So I feel like it would be good if I can teach my son myself. Maybe we can have a little bit of a say in how he is, uh, uh, how he is educated and whatnot. Now the problem here is we still haven't won the war. So let's make our way northwards. We're going to have to seize some more land. Fortunately, these guys are also taking more land. We're, we, there's a conflict of interest here. It's fine though. Uh, we do have a much faster siege speed. Yeah. It's going to negatively affect our war score, especially when they take this. It's probably going to drop by quite a lot, isn't it? It's unfortunate. It's just the way that it seems to be going at the moment. I'm sure we can work around these, though. Yeah, 39%. That's dropped dramatically. Should be fine. There we go. 30 days is looking much better, isn't it? Just hope they don't come and fight me. Uh, greetings, my liege. I would be delighted if your son and heir, Oswald, could visit my court in Abba Trafi to meet his peers. I hope he will attend, as I would miss him a lot if he didn't. Uh, of course he would be there. Time for him to make some friends. And we've stolen another artifact as well. And taken a prisoner. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and siege some more land. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to take another five months. Once we uh, break the walls, though, it should speed things up. With a tired yet blissful smile, Ifni prevents, preve uh, presents me with a little son. Who will you become, my child? Uh, Liam. There we go. May you grow strong and wise. What I need to do is go ahead and pin you just so I can keep a track on your education, Liam. Hopefully you also grow up to be someone who's uh, fascinated in a, a learned education focus. So we look at the wall now. We have breached them, so that's going to make the siege just a tiny little bit faster there. If only these guys weren't also at war with Denmark. It's uh, really prolonging things here, isn't it? Witchcraft induction. Wait, so I am a witch? Uh, it's, it's annoying to see because I don't see that I'm a witch and it doesn't say it's a secret but I must be a witch I mean no I can't be a witch because we don't have the founder coven here I'm a little bit confused maybe I don't know I'm a witch <laughs> that's the problem that's happening here could be uh, honestly no idea what's happening confusion is high Learning perk available. Let's go ahead and pick up Defender of the Faith. That's going to improve opinion of anyone else who is Irish Orthodox, which should be uh, pretty much all of my vassals. So that's going to be a useful one to pick up there. And there we go. Uh, oh, the walls are still intact. It's, the siege is looking to progress quite fast. Uh, and more factions disbanding as well. This war school is not looking so good, is it? We need to get back and take the war target, really. These guys, because they have so many armies, I think they're able to siege faster than me. What I should do here is maybe go back to the capital. Wait, where is the capital? Oh, the capital's down here now. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and move our way down here. And we're going to take the capital. Maybe we get lucky and take a, a prisoner who's worth uh, a lot of war score. I hope that's the case. And uh, we've increased our marshal by one as well. Very nice. There we go. We're just going to have to peacefully walk. Oh, Germany. Hello, Germany. <laughs> my old uh, my old friends. Uh, I'm sure all of your hostilities are aimed towards my father, uh, Aiden, and not myself. Hopefully we can turn a new page there. How's long this? This is only going to take six months. Right. Let's try and siege the capital again. Ah, so they won their independence war. That's what's happened there. I see. 
So that was once the capital of Denmark, but now they've had to move it. So when we take Denmark, we're not going to take this land anymore. So Asatru is still going to be alive, unless... Your insular... Oh, these guys just became independent. They're insular as well. So now Denmark is this tiny little piece of land. <laughs> okay, I, I, I see what's happening. Once we do finally win this war against Denmark, we're not going to be gaining a lot. But at least we can wipe out the last remaining Asatru leaders that are actually landed. Which will be a satisfying moment. We've probably had a grudge against them the most. Uh, with a tire jet blissful smile, Eifni presents me with a perfect daughter. Let's go ahead and name her... Something I can pronounce. Lucia. There we go, Lucia. I will go ahead and pin you as well. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. If we gain enough land, maybe one day you can brawl. There we go. 52 gold was that. Very nice. And then we can travel north and let's go ahead and siege some more of Denmark. This should uh, at least help us win the war. I think we're losing so much war score just because of how long the war has been going on for now. Which is uh, a little bit problematic. Additional taxes. We've also gained stress because my friend died. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good, is it? Uh, greetings, my thoughtful liege. I have arrived in Dublin to pay homage to you. Glorious emperor as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Let's go ahead and show her in at once. You're the Queen of Wales and you're only 17. Well, wow. uh, I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Queen Wolfgift, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth her gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record her pledges to serve the Empire of Ireland. At last I bid the Queen arise confirming my satisfaction and Wolf gifts rights to the land she rules in my stead. I accept your generous gifts, thank you very much. However, sadly that's all we have time for today. Already, just like that, an hour has flown by, but look at that. Sweden is gone, finally. Uh, <laughs> the rivalry is over and we've taken their land. So we go ahead and look at the faith. There's still a lot of insular over here, uh, but mainly we want to take out the Asatru, which we're currently working on. Next episode, we're going to try and win the war with Denmark, and then I think we're going to try and uh, take these remaining Scandinavian lands around here. Uh, that should be fine, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you, as always, for your support, and I'll see you next time.